Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're still on the Nexus, but we're gonna head out in a second right back to Vold, the uh, icy icy planet, where we're gonna try and track the Periphonas signal, so the Asari Arcs signal. So uh, here we go, and I guess I'll see you guys in Vold. Well, I got back on the Tempest and then uh, Kalo told me Jal wanted to talk to me. I do not know where Jal resides at the moment. Might be... No, I really just don't know. And maybe... Have you talked with Jal much? Is he up here? Oh yeah. Trade swear words. No. Really? That's what you asked him about? A completely different tech base. You start there. You want to talk shop? Talk shop. I want to know it. Okay, then that was interesting. Can I get through this door, please? No? Oh, there we go. Where the hell... Why is PB over there? What? Why the hell are you here? Aya is a wonder rider, and the Angara are so interesting. I hope we make it back. I want to delve and explore and who knows what else. Of course, we'll be back. We'll be back. We need the Moshe if we're going to get into their vault. Oh, I'm definitely sticking around long enough for that. Flirting! I have to admit, when you invited me to your apartment, I thought you might be luring me there for... something else. You thought, or you hoped? Ah, uh, hoped. I might have been hoping. That hope had crossed my mind as well. Ouch. If Kalinda wow. had wow. intruded, who knows what might have happened. Yeah, tell me more about Kalinda. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But, but something went, went south, wrong, too. yeah. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Okay then, not for now at least, so I'll leave you to it. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Bye peeps. See you next time. Um, So I heard Jal talk to the technicians. Maybe it's down there. I don't want to just jump down without seeing him. So maybe I'm just going to check the engineering wing over here. <sighs> There you are. Gotcha. Um, and now what? Okay then, you talk to the engine core? Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. Hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. If you say so, you Jill. maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Ah, you might regret it, indeed. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. I'll risk it. Next time we port up and you're in the mood... I'm always in the mood. Okay, that sounded really, really dirty for some reason. He's always in the mood, and that core looks awesome. But Jal is clearly not here, so... Still can't jump, so I'm just gonna drop down. Cora? Is Jal talking to Vetra? No, Vetra isn't even here, apparently. Maybe I can scan her place for a second then. While she's not here... What the hell? Okay then. These goods are earmarked for use in trade and negotiation. High extras breakfast cereals. Okay then. Cora, you have something to say? Because you're not at your regular position either. That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. Yeah, at least we know the enemy. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True, they can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. So, what else is new? Um, 
What the hell? There's a lot of extra stuff. What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. Your time defending Silva's expedition was probably more important. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. Tell me about your unit. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. So Arcea she was the priest of the party. all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Ah, uh, soldiers are always needed, I suppose. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. Hmm, do you have any war stories to tell us? After four years with Asari commandos, he must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Okay then. Wow. That is interesting. Anything else? Any more commando war stories? I always liked Janae. She was only 200, and with me around, she wasn't the kid anymore. She was a biotic prodigy. I once saw her yank an AA gun right off its housing, crushed a gang of slavers with it. Ouch. They didn't feel it for long. That sounds Janae awesome. Janae was a good friend. Maybe she still is back there. Won't be a kid now, though. No, indeed. I'm gonna go through all of these. Yeah, we talked about anyone special, but... Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Hmm. How do they figure it out? Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. Okay, I'm not gonna ask any more for the moment, so uh, goodbye, because I still later, need to Cora. talk to Jal as well. I'll and be I here. And I don't want to spend the entire episode talking to everybody. Um, Jal, there are extra doors to the side here. Although that just seems to loop around again. Um, where the hell You're is taking the Angara, old man? Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah, you lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? <laughs> Harsh, don't let Ryder hear you. I heard you, I heard you, I'm Ryder here. Jesus Christ, Jal, where the hell is Jal? Ah, I don't know where Jal is. I lost I lost our Angaran. And this is my quarters, so he's not gonna be in here. Give me a second. Oh, I think I found him. So Jal. in the opposite room from uh Cora. So where Cora used to be. We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. No bigots allowed. Yeah, so are you. And you're alien to us, so... there. We have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start? Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. What kind you of alien no you want us to be? Us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Is that all you've got? Now that I've proven you can trust me, I was hoping you'd feel more able to open up. I have certain dissatisfactions that I'd like to leave behind. They're quite personal. Fair enough. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant, too? <laughs> a little. I was terrible. I quit. 
Or she threw me out. One of those. One of the above. We're still very close. Okay, that sounded romantic. So, is that your rifle? Or are you just happy to see me? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. Okay, That's a skill then. I know we can use, but I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up, uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. You like the ship, There's don't you? Something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Okay, Base then. value? That sounds like a compliment. Take it a easy, nice Jal. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. Okay, your intro. What the hell is that for a symbol? What the hell is that symbol? Um, is that bonding just as... I don't know what that is. That's not romance. When we have downtime, I'd love to watch you work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, no. Just us. So we can get to know each other better, or just share a hobby. Oh. Mm, of course. Good. Good. What the hell was that? That was... weird. Is there anything I... Oh. Laser frequency test. Test study mapping initiative components to Angaran Starship drive cores. What the hell is this actually? Can I do anything with that? Looks like armor pieces. And then Jal over here. I'm gonna let him uh, let him be for now. I'm gonna head back to the bridge. And we're gonna go to Vold and see if we can't find the Asari. Three, two. Oh, that looks so awesome with the Nexus out there. There we go. And then, yeah, I'm just going to go to Vault. So see you guys in a second. So entering Vault Atmosphere, I took Korra and Drac with me for once. So it's another, uh, well, team composition we haven't really used yet. And then we're going to see if we can find that distress signal. Uh, I would put on your helmet. There we go. Um, can I get... The nomad immediately, or is there no really shortcut for that? Extreme cold. So that was annoying. I had to walk all the way through the base to get to the nomad. So I think it's best to stay on vault until I get an outpost over here. Uh, I'm gonna make my way down and towards the coordinates. So I guess I'll see you guys in a second. I'm wondering if I can do this. I can. I most definitely can. Jesus. How do you choose your scouts? Volunteers or do you recruit? Both. Picking up a faint signal. Looks like a friendly ship. It matches the transponder code for a Sari survey vessel, Harry Fona. That's the ship Hadaria mentioned. We might be close. Apparently we are getting closer, so uh, that's a good thing. Oh. And apparently this is where we need to be. I thought this would be the Perifona. Ice or mineral deposits may be reflecting false positives. The real signal must be relatively close. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna just get out and scan this thing. There we go. And then we get the lithium and get back inside. So yeah, as uh, Sam said, it might be mineral deposits. Um, Got an empty heat sink, Harper. What for? Plugging a hole in my armor, winds whistling through my nethers. Here, and I don't ever want it back. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. That's a flare. Flares are bad news. Got it. We should see if we can lend a hand. Where? I don't see the flare, to be honest. Just gonna head towards the right one first. So 
that we uh, might have an idea. We take out that cat camp. What cat camp? Ah, oh, that cat camp. Nope, not interested. Not interested at the moment. Slowly making my way up the mountain. This Can thing has some the traction. If we settled here? And this is starting to look really, really awesome. God damn it! Get me up there. Okay, so this is where we Still should. Getting the periphone signal. Wonder why she's on the ground. It's smart if the cat are looking for them. Um. Okay, so it's not here. On to the next one. Harper, you work too hard. At least I get paid. Oh, what the hell is that? Another false reading, but we must be closing in. What the hell is that? That's a giant bubble shield over there. Would that be the arc? Wait, no, there can be an arc over there. There's one back there, or one more on the right. I'm gonna go to the right first. Where did you fought in the Krogan rebellions? Hard to believe with my youthful good looks, I know. No one came out of that war looking good. Just the Asari, they tend to keep. Oh. Okay. This is the source of the Periphone signal. Oh god. And there's Ket on sight. Let's clear them out. So yeah, I'm just gonna park the nomad here Take and then just. Hard. Don't oh you shit. Worry. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And I'm down as well. Fuck! Okay. If you were an Asari commando, you'd be heading for retirement with honors by now. Ugh. Wait, would I get free booze? Oh, so the... I don't think so. The checkpoint Ugh. does get me uh, right next to the uh, camp again. Ah, there's the, the remnant VI. This thing does nothing. Okay, just gonna let them come to me then. Oh, and the Remnant VI is actually firing. There we go. There we go, there's another one. There we go. And down he goes. Okay. That was pretty easy now that I completed that, but yeah, I'm just gonna, that, that was harder than I thought it was gonna be, but because there's a lot of cats, so I can scan a few things here, aside from the cat, of course, oh, there we go, what's this? Parafona transponder, the Parafona transponder is attached to her flight recorder, which has survived largely intact. That's the periphone, all right. What's left of her? Definitely Ket weapons fire. This wasn't just a crash. The Ket pulverized the ship. No survivors. Yeah, and no answers either. Without the crew, we've lost our best lead to the Asari Ark. But this is stupid. The Ket take prisoners. Why kill the crew? Because the ship was their target? It's like they saw the periphone itself as a threat. But it's no match for a Ket cruiser. Was there an AI on board? Back, we got something. Looks like a flight recorder. It's in bad shape. But let's see what... Final log. If the Ark ever finds this, we failed. Couldn't draw them off. The data copy's lost. The decimation's too cunning. Forgive us. We tried... The, the decimation. decimation. Hadaria mentioned specialized cat hunters. Maybe that's them. Hmm, sounds promising. Any way we could use that or the flight recorder to find the Ark. If the nav record survived, we could trace the Periphonos flight path. Might lead us to them. I can't assist. Okay. I'll take a look when we get back. Still lots to do. 
That was a sad ending to this mission. It got a few Andromeda viability points and then, yeah, it's on hold again. So that's really starting to annoy me that all these missions just go on hold after we've uh, done something with them. Um, anything else? What? Can I check something or was it just a warning that I'm gonna die? I think it's probably just a warning I'm gonna die. Anything else I can loot around here? Doesn't see... What the... Ah! There might be Milky Way research data. Oh, I'm just gonna quickly go over there again. There we go, that's the thing I could check. Helios data. And now I need to go back inside. Don't stop running! Life support failure is imminent, Pathfinder. Going back to the Nomad. There we go. And safe and sound again. This is a bit weird, those lights. Don't know what that's for, but... That's really, really weird. Uh, next up, I think I'm gonna try and find a place for an outpost. So, give me a second. So, next up, we're gonna try and activate the monoliths on this world as well to maybe uh, clean up the atmosphere and get ourselves so an outpost over here. you seem pretty anti-Nexus, even for a Krogan. That's your job around here, noticing things. <laughs> My job is to watch Ryder's back. Who watches yours? Guess we'll find out, big guy. Yeah, indeed. Because you can watch her back. What the hell? What the hell is this thing doing here all alone Pathfinder. in the wilderness? I detect heavy weapons fire nearby. It's good for the heavy weapons fire, but I don't really care at the moment. Help resistance fighters defeat the cat. Frosty reception. I don't know even where I need to go for that. Just gonna... Just gonna head towards... The next objective. Is this... Hey! Oh! Oh, there goes a cat. And I'm just gonna have to hide because... The nomad is taking heavy fire. Nomad! Jesus! Enemies! There we go. Wasn't really my best shooting, but... There we go, taking out the big guy. There goes another one. Let's activate the VI and take out the rest of these guys. Yeah, kill him! Kill him! There we go. I think that's all of them. Looks like all of them. Speak with the resistance team leader. Is this something I can loot? Nope. Are you the team leader? So, the Pathfinder. Oh, and there goes the camera. If you're a friend, if that's the goal, take my advice. Don't join fights that aren't yours. Um, you're welcome anyway. No thanks necessary. I was just passing through. Good. Keep passing. Well, Mind yourself fuck you here. too. Not everyone sees the difference between you and the kit. Here's a hint. I'm the good-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Might just... Uh... Can I get... Yeah, okay. There we go. I can take it back again. That is great. So let's get back to the Nomad, which is almost dying. Which isn't good. I'm hoping the shields regenerate like they do with me. And yeah, it doesn't look all that good, now does it? Let's go check out the monoliths anyway. And I think I'm in luck. Because I can actually put down a forward station over there. Activating automated forward station deployment. There we go. 
Uh, normally, in this radius, the Nomad heals. So, repair. Yeah, there we go. That is good. Um, Mining now. in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Thank you. So, I'm just, just going to check out the map to see which one is closest. Seems like there's one straight ahead of me, so I'm just going to head over there and see you guys there in like a second. Tech. If that remnant site is active, we should be careful. So, you're 1,400 years old? Most of me. Bits drop off, stuff gets added. That's still a long time. Longer than Asari, even. I had a lot of bastards. Those power lines go up, but we'll have to find a way around. No way up this mountain. There we have our first monolith. And I'm gonna save before we do this, so I actually return over here. Can I get around here somehow? There we go. There we go, saving. But now... I'm guessing there will be... A remnant or not. Ah, there's two glyphs on top. So maybe... Nah, I'm not gonna reach that. Just gonna have to try and get a bit... Closer! Oh, never mind. I got on top here. Yeah, I know. There we go, that's one. And that's two. Is that enough? No, we need to get three of them. Ah, there's one over there. Wasn't a better position to get that one, but this will work fine. There we go. I think that's enough. Now we can activate this thing and scan this thing. And interface with it. Whew, that one was a bit harder. Yes, nice job, Ryder. Am I gonna get attacked immediately now? No. It seems to have done it. Which is actually pretty cool. So on to the next one, I suppose. So, next up. This place apparently. There seems to be an ice gorilla in here. Is that thing hostile? I think it is. Can I scan it? There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna use my pistol. Jeez, this thing is big. It's not doing much. There we go. And down it goes. Interesting. That was not that hard to beat. And now I need to scan for glyphs. They're in there, so... Let's go deeper into the ice cave. With more creepy monsters, probably. Hello? That's one. Ah, both of them. Both of I them. No additional glyphs in the area. Great. Dropping down, and let's solve this puzzle. There we go. Another one. That is the job. Good going. And it's active, which is really good. How much time do I have? Let's go open up the last one. Come on. And there's the last one. Hopefully, not too much resistance. I'd like to see their methods. There we They're go. A tough bunch. Lots of respect for the Angara. The way they fight, <laughs> it's almost Krogan. But there's Ket in there. Huh. So I'm quickly gonna save because I don't want to get pulled out in the open again. And then let's head outside. See what we can do. Start out with the uh, the VI.
Prioritize the guys that shoot first. There's one more enemy left. Okay. Seems like that's it. Just a few raids. Yeah, there we go. Remains. Loot. And there's loot as well. Nope. Just want to take the remains. Thank you. That's about it. Let's go check out the monolith. Lost a bit of health there. Where is the monolith? Oh, never mind. There it is. Ooh. I haven't scanned one of these yet. Take you that was a remnant. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah this it is kind incredible. of is. Been alive forever. Never seen anything quite like this. Huh. I was thinking about the comment that Drac is 1,400 years old. But, of course, we're all over 600 years old because of the, the cryosleep. Active remnant. So that's the blue dots on the map, probably. Do we need to enter through this cave or what? Seems like it's going down. Okay, then. Seems like there's one... Ah, oh, shit. That wire may connect to a point on the surface, Pathfinder. Shit. I think it leads to the base of the monolith. We should check. Yep, we're gonna have to go up, and I'm almost out of ammo. Detecting tech technology here. That device was feeding data. There we go. Let's do down. Where? I can't determine that. However, there may be devices at other remnant locations. I think they can take out that last breacher and leveled up. Nice work. That was great. Let's check all that out. No other remains I can check out. Nope. Oh, there we go. I said nothing. Nothing at all. And that. And then. What the hell is this? That looks way fancier than it was supposed to be. Okay, that's two. And I think the last one is actually underground, so it might be over here, yeah. There we go. Last one, check. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. And then we'll activate this one, so give me a second to solve the puzzle. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Holy shit! Engaging. Um... Oh shit, this might be a problem. Okay, so if you make a mistake, the, yeah, the remnant aren't too happy. I'm gonna try that again, and I'm completely out of ammo. Whew, okay, this time we're right. And now we can investigate the vault entrance, but that I'm gonna have to keep until the next episode, because I am gonna take a little break. So I'd like to thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I'll see you guys next time when we uh, enter the vault of vault. The vault of vault. Goodbye. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder.